Hi everyone! So today I have another Yes Style haul. Yes Style sent me a summer themed skincare box to review. So thank you, Yes Style. And I have, I think, four products ranging in cost and I'm going to discuss them with you guys today. And I do have B-roll of me using three of them and I have been using- I, I just cut the box literally two and a half weeks ago because shipping took so long but the deadline to upload is approaching so I'm gonna go ahead and share my thoughts. Now please bear in mind that if you're ever testing new skincare, you really gotta give it longer than two and a half weeks. Uh, my skin is very responsive to skincare. I don't really have any ingredient sensitivities. However, every single summer when it gets super, super humid, especially right now with all the heat waves and everything going on, my skin has been an absolute mess. I get so many tiny little bumps all over my face when the humidity gets too bad. So my skin is very environmentally sensitive, but it's not chemically sensitive or ingredient sensitive or fragrance sensitive unless it's like bobby brown face base that's literally the only product whose fragrance made me break out that's it so generally speaking with korean skincare i very rarely have any problems if anything it'll just be that it didn't do anything for me and it's not like skincare actively breaks me out if you have much more sensitive skin than me then maybe this is not going to be super helpful but if you have really really dry skin then this might be helpful for you my skin is incredibly dry and during the summer it really doesn't help that my skin is so dry but at the same time the environment outside is so humid that the top layer of my face just becomes wet with sweat but the inside of my face can still be very dry so summer can be a bit of a suffering for me living in the humid 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 south especially these days with the climate getting so bad some of these skincare products I actually really super like so uh, if you guys are willing to pay for them then I actually would recommend a couple of these so I'm gonna start in the order that I would go and apply my skincare so the first thing that was sent to me is the COSRX advanced snail mucin gel cleanser I think it's more expensive than their low pH one which I don't like that one one to me that one really strips my skin it says it's supposed to be gentle but I don't think it's gentle at all now personally for uh, over a year now I have used the Clinique gentle foaming cleanser the one in the green bottle with the pump I've used that for over a year now I've gone through like two tubes of that and I fully intend on continuing to use that this is does not foam as much so um, it's not really it doesn't really foam to me it's more of like a gel cleanser it's not bad but somehow I just don't feel like it gets as deep of a clean as my Clinique one does. I don't know, just I don't really know if it's as good. And yeah, overall it is just a better value in terms of money per mil. So if you have dry skin, this did not strip my skin at all. I don't know, I felt like it was a little too thick. I do prefer light foamed cleansers as opposed to this thick gel one. So kind of up to you. I felt like this is a little bit difficult to rinse off. Like I'm not ever so sure if I got all of it off. Like I'm paranoid, what if I left some behind? So um, it's definitely more of a personal preference thing for me. If you don't really mind the consistency of your cleanser and you're just looking for an affordable dry skin friendly cleanser, I think this is gonna be really great for you and you'll really like it. Next, I got sent two little serum thingies. So I'm gonna talk about the one that I like the most right now first. And that is going to be the Calming Serum from Beauty of Joseon. This brand Beauty of Joseon, they kind of they kind of started being talked about a lot when they released their rice sunscreen, which I do actually have. I did buy, but I haven't gotten around to using it yet, so I don't have formed opinions on that yet. I will make a sunscreen roundup video eventually, but I haven't fully tested out all the sunscreens yet. But this got sent to me this little serum right here and as you can see I've already used a pretty significant amount because I do actually really really like it however I feel like there's so little product in here there's only 30 mils so I've only used it for two and a half weeks and you see how much I've already used but I will say this is only 1275 on yes style as of this filming for 30 mils so it is still honestly pretty affordable for what it is considering that things like Solasu and sk2 are way more expensive per mil this is really not super bad so it, i go through it quickly but if i were to repurchase it i'd only be paying 13 bucks for another one so i think once i run through this i will rebuy it as you can see in the b-roll it is super light it absorbs really well into my skin it doesn't feel oily at all now with the whole green thing it supposedly has like green tea it's supposed to be good for redness it's the really the biggest thing it says and personally I do notice a difference when I use this my skin has been a lot less red lately I personally really really like this this is definitely a summer staple for me now I've been using it every single night and I think I will continue to use it every single night um, I don't really think this is going to be like super great for me during the winter because during the winter I really start breaking out my super thick moisturizers for myself 
but this is so good for me right now. I think this is the favorite product, my most favorite skincare product in this little box, and I can wholeheartedly recommend it because it is not super, super expensive. So yeah, I have been really liking this. I think it is so easy, it's so refreshing, it's really calming, great for my redness. And as far as the ingredients go, honestly, there's nothing in here that is super, super intensive or anything like that. It's mostly just like a bunch of calming ingredients, green tea and water. Yeah, it's it's honestly, it's like super, super soothing. Even just like my limited knowledge of ingredients, I don't see anything terribly incriminating on there. So I have been really, really liking this. And honestly, this brand kind of has started to catch my eye. I definitely am kind of looking into this brand a little bit more lately. My skincare routine has honestly been super, super same, same, same for years. If you ever want me to talk about my skincare routine, I'll make a video about it. I don't because 90% of it is Sulwasu, but if you want to hear me talk about my skincare routine, I'm more than happy to. I just don't usually because it's so expensive. But um, so when I do change my skincare routine, it's kind of a big deal. And this is that big deal. Now, the next one that I got sent is an ampule. And honestly, it feels more like a serum. And it's going to be this one from ISOI. And it is the Sika Double Effect Ampule. So again, it's kind of the Honestly, with Korea, if they ever dye or have natural ingredients in the product that turn it green, you can pretty much assume it's meant to be calming, anti-redness, anti-aging, soothing, hydrating, brightening kind of a thing. So these both are honestly very similar products. And because they're both so similar, I personally, unless you really want the deep hydration or like the more oily texture, would still really recommend the Beauty of Joseon one over this one from ISOI. So yeah, now as you can see, it has two, it's separated. So as you can see in the B-roll, you have to shake it. And then after that, um, the dropper comes separately in the box. So you'll wanna unscrew the cap, remove the cap and screw on the dropper. Thankfully you don't have to buy the dropper separately. And then after that, you will drop a couple drops onto your hands and put it on your face now. I am not using this right now currently. It's just too oily for the humid summers. I put it on and I just feel like such an oil slick, but I think once it hits fall and winter, I will use this a lot more often. However, that being said, for the same amount, 30 mils, this is a $40 ampule. And I personally feel like it does the exact same thing as the Beauty of Joseon one. I even comparing the ingredients, the ingredients are super, 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 super similar. And then this one is oilier and this one is more of a traditional kind of light serum. So for the summer, I absolutely recommend this one, but even overall, unless you really want the more deeply hydrating, more face oil texture of this, you really should just go ahead and get this one anyways, because it's so much cheaper, like $13. $40. So as a result, I have a tough time recommending this. It's just really, really expensive for what it is. And I feel like it honestly is the exact same as this one. Once if I'm going to use this during the winter, but once I use it up, I'm probably not going to rebuy this. But this I think is going to be a permanent addition to my skincare routine, at least during the summer. And once I run out, I am going to rebuy another one of these. All right. And lastly is going to be a sunscreen. So this is called the, this is from the brand Anua and it's the Airy sunscreen. It's got SPF 50 plus PA um, quadruple plus. And so as you can see here it is and as you can see in the b-roll you can see me putting it on It does have it is a um, according to the description. This is a physical sunscreen So it does have a white cast. However, as you can see on my complexion, the white cast is not super severe It's not super obvious But if you are tanner than me, it does have a white cast and I don't know how much it's gonna show up on you So just please take that with a grain of salt. This is $19 and 20 cents at the time of this filming which is you know mid-range ish for a korean sunscreen my current favorite one from espoir is like i bought it for like nine dollars and then the isn't one i bought for like $14 or so. So this is more expensive than that. And I don't think it's as good as the Isn't Tree one. That being said, it does dry down to kind of a natural matte finish, hence the name Airy. It has that texture of a sunscreen. And in a market currently, hydrating sunscreens are definitely dominating the market. And a lot of Korean brands have even discontinued or reformulated their Airy or mild sunscreens to be more hydrating. So for those of you with normal combo or oily skin who are looking for a sunscreen for the humid 
good summer that will actually stay on your skin, then this will be a really good option because it is actually a little bit more on the matte side. It is not powdery matte once it dries down. I hate those kinds of sunscreens, so even on my dry skin, I can wear it, and at the end of the day, I don't look like a grease ball versus some of my winter sunscreens. It's just too much. Like, it's just way too much. So I would say this is a really great summer sunscreen. I haven't noticed it break me out, and most people generally would say that physical sunscreens are more sensitive skin friendly. However, if you've ever watched Lab Muffin talk about physical versus chemical sunscreens, chemical sunscreens have come a long way, and chemical sunscreens can be still sensitive skin friendly. You just have to figure out what works for you and your skin type, and you have to find out what ingredients kind of set you off or not. So that's going to be completely up to you. Again, my skin is not ingredient sensitive as far as I've ever seen. I really have never reacted to anything, so I can't really help you guys there, but that's gonna be my experience with this. So I have been using this a lot during the summer. Personally, my skin is can be so dry that I still prefer the Isentry one over this one, but I do still like this one, and since I have it, I am going to use it. I particularly like using it on my hands. As you can, as I've mentioned, and I may have mentioned in other videos, but my hands are actually, are pretty significantly darker than my face and my neck. It's, you know, it's pretty obvious here especially because I spent years of my life driving without any sort of hand protection, which, what was I thinking? And, and I don't know how much of this is permanent, how much of this is reversible. I have been taking hand SPF and hand protection very seriously for the past three months, and I fully intend on keeping this to be a new lifestyle change to see if I can fade the tan on my hands, anti-age my hands, take better care of my hands. But in the meantime, I really like using this on the back of my hands because the white cast actually can be a silver lining for my hands where it makes my hands match my face and it brightens up my hands a little bit so I actually have been really liking using it for that reason now obviously if you guys like to be tan then that's you know kind of your prerogative but I really am just trying to get my hands to match my face and right now we're not there yet as a general roundup the gel cleanser it, I think it's a good cleanser it's just not my personal preference so I don't like it but I could still recommend it if you guys are into that kind of texture the beauty of Joseon serum wow <laughs> really good and very and even though I'm using it up super quickly it's very affordable so I can totally see myself rebuying this I feel like this is gonna be something I empty in maybe like two and a half to three and a half months but if I pay $13 every two and a half to three and a half months really not a bad deal at all so I am very happy to have this. We'll probably be permanently adding this to my skincare routine. ISOI one, too expensive for what it is considering that now that I've tried that these are both the same and YesStyle sent me both. So it's very easy for me to just kind of say this one really is just not as worth it as this one is. However, I am gonna use this during the winter. This is a really great sunscreen, very rare right now to see more airy and matte finish sunscreens on the market. Dewy sunscreens are kind of the trend, so if you're looking for a sunscreen that is not dewy and not ultra hydrating, especially for the summer, you might wanna look into this, especially if you like physical sunscreen, but beware, it does have a mild white cast. That's gonna be it from me. Um, my This makeup look was filmed and it should go up, it will go up after this one. Um, because this video has to be uploaded by, you know, got a deadline going on. So my, this makeup look will be uploaded later, but it was like super simple and done really quickly. So it's really pretty easy. I may give the gel cleanser to a friend. I don't know how long I'm going to keep it for just because don't use... I, my Clinique one is just so good. I really have no motivation to use anything else. But I hope that this helps you guys. If you guys have been looking for new skincare picks, I don't consider myself a skincare kind of expert, but I can say for a certain fact that this little serum here is is really good. I have seen a really, really big difference in my skin. This is definitely the real deal for me. That's going to be it for me. Again, if you guys do want to see a video on my current summer skincare routine, then I'm more than happy to film it. Just be aware that like most of it is still wasu, so take that with a grain of salt of what you will. Yeah, I, I could probably replace it with cheaper options, I just don't want to because it works, so. Short little video, hope you guys enjoyed it, found it informative. Uh, as usual, I do have a yes style code, it does save you guys a little bit of money and the commission helps support my channel, so if you guys do choose to use it, I'll leave the code kind of, I'll put it in the caption here. Um, thank you so much in advance for using my code. I just, I always appreciate it every single time I see someone use my code. I'm so grateful. Thank you so, so much. I do have other affiliate codes with a couple of other brands now, so feel free to shop through those and use those to support my channel as well. But that'll be it from me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye